You there? Yeah. And we're just sitting here waiting for the fish. <laughs> um, as you can see, large body of water. There's Mr. Sands, the birthday boy. <laughs> how's the how's the fishing going? It's great. Fishing's great. Catching not so good. <laughs> Nick just left his rod sitting <laughs> in the water. He just left it. So it's, it's still out there. Is it still casted? Yeah. It's all baits in the water. He just left. He just gave up. What are your thoughts, Sands? I don't think anyone here knows how to fish. <laughs> oh, perfect. Well, I would say that we're doing a new episode um, where we're answering questions from our viewing audience. So if you did have questions you want to submit, we will answer those in our next episode. Which video are you taking them from? What? Which video are you taking the questions from? Oh, it just um, I had some of the kids at school write me some questions. Oh, cool. Yeah. So if you want to, yeah, submit a question, feel free. Q and A. Email me. Live Q and A. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> That's why she has a torn ACL. <laughs> <laughs>
Dear Sands in the Surf, my favorite is when you catch baby sharks. My friend Gracie also likes when you catch sharks because she wants to be a marine biologist. Well, good for her. What do you do to make sure you safely release the shark back in the ocean? JJ signed that. So here, JJ, uh, number one is uh, I try to keep them in the water if I can. Try to keep them moist. Sometimes you got to pull them up on land, and that's just the way it is. But if you can keep them in just like a little bit of water right there at the edge of the surf without pulling them too far up or picking them up and dragging them around, just kind of keep them there. Take the hook out really quick with like a pair of pliers and then release them as quick as possible. Also try not to uh, to grab their gills. Just try to hold them down. You might put your hand on their gills. So not doing that. And then sometimes you got to hold their tail and kind of, this guy did not want to swim in the right direction. So I had to kind of drag him back out. But sometimes I hold their tail, let the water go over the gills and it gets the um, oxygen going back in, lets them release some of the, the buildup of the lactic acids that builds in their muscles. And then they can be released safely back into the water. Like this one is going right here. Let them swim off. Like some people want to hold them up and take pictures and all that stuff. It's really best for the shark if you can just get them off the hook. If you're not going to keep it and you just want to get back in as quick and as safely as possible. So, so moving on to the next question, number four. Oh, why do you always drop fish? And that's from Autumn. Autumn, I never drop fish. What are you talking about? Well, okay, I, occasionally I drop fish, but only whiting. Only whiting I ever drop. I don't drop any other species of fish like a bluefish. <laughs> Look, I'm not the only one who drops these. Whiting are slippery, and that's why I drop them. It's hard to hold on to a whiting. For whatever reason, I always try to hold them up to show them in the camera, and I always drop them. So uh, <laughs> you can see right there, pretty, pretty slippery. Anyway... I'm going to go back to uh, to Lake Norman here again. So we're on Sunday, and, um, and Nick is trying to catch a fish now. He's out there, and he this guy was determined. I'm saying determined. Like, he just sitting there, and it was cold and everything, and the sun was going down, and he's like, he just laid down waiting for that bite. I had pretty much given up at this point. Josh had given up. Alex fell asleep. <laughs> she just put a blanket on herself and fell asleep out there. So I just don't feel like we're going to do really well fishing here on Lake Norman, even though all the fishing videos show people catching fish. I got I got the lines. We had three lines out and no one's even manning them. We're just like, <laughs> all righty. Moving on to my next question. Sands in the Surf enjoys going fishing in a tiny boat. He doesn't bring much bait with him on the trip because he can't throw a cast net to save his life. Surprisingly, he catches some fish, but they are too little to eat and he throws them back. <laughs> okay. Even with all of his fishing flaws, somehow he still loves fishing. Kate, I'm sorry. That doesn't seem to be a question. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a PS here. PS. Um, why can't you throw a cast net? Do you need a teacher? Um, um, you know what? You know what, Kate? Uh, I do. I Okay, I can't throw a cast net. You know what? Everybody, I have bad shoulders. I have shoulder spurs, so I can't get my arms up um, in order to throw the cast net like this. You can see I can hardly even get my, my arms up there. So, But the cast net does open sometimes. And you know what? When there's a lot of bait running in the fall, you don't need to catch a lot of bait. You just catch one or two or three and you're good to go because you can just throw it again uh, when you need it. So I only I keep a couple. But I do feel like, I you know, I... I watch video. That's how I learned. I watch videos on YouTube and I watch people throwing them. And this is, this is how I learned. And a lot of times it doesn't open up right, but sometimes it does. And you know what, when it does, I, I get to pull it in and I got a couple of, I get a couple of fish and I, and I feel good about that. So uh, <laughs> that's, that's my answer. Here you go. Here's some fish come. Look, I caught these. They're going to be, they're going to catch me a big fish. And uh, we'll go on to our last, oh, that's our last question here. Question number seven. It says, uh, Sans in the, in the Surf, your channel is very relaxing. I love to watch it while I, I draw an art class. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I was wondering, what it is? what is your favorite thing about fishing? And Avella wrote that. So Avella, um, you know what my favorite thing about fishing is, is really, it's, being in the water. I love the water. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love when I catch a big fish and the rod bends and it's all exciting when you get like when you're riding it, something like what I'm doing right there. But really just being in the water, having my feet in the sand. I love surf fishing. I love the when the waves aren't too crazy. You know, I like the waves come up and I, I like the smell of it. I just like everything about going down to the water. And I like the people I meet and other YouTubers when they when they get a chance to make YouTubes and I get to meet with them and other people that I get to meet that were fishing is always a great time too. But a lot of times, even when you're out there by yourself, even even if you don't catch any fish or even if you just catch a couple of croaker or, you know, just being out there it's beautiful the sun setting and you just can't go wrong it's even if you don't catch fish you know a day of fishing is better still better than a day of work <laughs> nothing against the <laughs> students so that was it all weekend on lake norman and we didn't catch a fish until i went to pick up my rod because so i was just like let me just pick up this rod we're gonna pack it up and go home and lo and behold i felt some tugs and i caught i caught a, the, the one i kind of felt bad for nick he was trying so hard all week and i feel like maybe i should have let him pull it up 
but um, yeah, so I caught a catfish, and it, it's not a bad size little catfish right here. I don't know. I'm trying to think if those planks on there are six inches, so maybe this guy's between you know a foot and a half or something in that area. Um, so a decent size little catfish. Um, but I'm just gonna pop him off here, and I'm gonna let him go and, and have his day. Uh, it was a great time up at Lake Norman, even though we only caught one fish. Cause get out there and go fishing. Some footage for the video that'll never make the. <laughs> it's Sands and the Surf the Crew. This is behind the scenes. It's a collector's edition footage. <laughs> oh, oh no. Join We're our Patreon to oh, see the behind the scenes exclusive footage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.